Ooh, what's up guys and welcome to another analysis video from me, the Skyrender, for our week 7 game against Freedomion. And this game got actually quite serious. Um, I'm gonna be honest here, um, I did a little trailer, a get good trailer, uh, just for fun really. Uh, we are both in the same position, it's very likely that the winner of us is gonna get into the playoff. Which means that this game is really, really serious. I actually thought for a while there that my two losses were gonna be a big deal, and they are, but I'm still in the running, which is good, but also bad, because obviously we're facing an opponent that plays for the same kind of encouragement and meta as I'm doing, because obviously that means that he wants to win too. And to be frank, Fridomi is a good battler, so I do expect this game to be quite tough. And this changes as it's been, and obviously I have to of course mention his uh, complete team before anything else, sorry. Uh, his complete team is uh, as follow. Latios, Glisco, Vaporeon, Hillis, Escavaldir, Yuxi, Entei, Sylveon, Vab, Sylveon, and Mega Lupani. Um, he benched, I do believe... Um, Fretress for um, his um, Sylveon, and he actually dumped Dupe, which actually was really, really good against me for Escavaldier, which is surprising, but not entirely unexpected. He needs a Pursuit Trapper, so I expected something like that. I myself decided to drop Heracross for Alakazam to force him to actually have a Jolly set on his Lupony. I'm not feeling that this, my Alakazam is going to do much work, so it's not included in this match, but like I said, it's there to make sure that his Lupin is Jolly. So, without further ado guys, let's see what I'm bringing to this match. So, the first mod is obviously Gengar. While Lupin is, uh, you know, it's a thing, it really is, it hit me quite hard. Uh, Gengar kind of fills a void that no mods on my team can really do. With the combination of Shadow Balls, Sludge Wave and Ice Wind, I should, ev should hit everything on his team quite hard. Ice Wind is only there for um, uh, Gliscor if it decides to use it. Taunt is there to make sure that no rocks comes up on the field. And quite honestly, we need to be max speed this time to make sure that um, we at least speed tie with Latios, which is probably the only mod that I will try to fend off properly. And of course, if his Entei is banded, if it's locked into extreme speed, we can capitalize on that. And other things than that, well. Ice Wind is a good overall move. Um, if I'm going up against Helix with full HP, I actually go for an Ice Wind to take down his speed and then pretty much finish it off with Slash Wind since I won't be able to oak it. That same thing goes for potential switching uh, to Loop Honey. If I go an Ice Wind for it, I will be faster next turn and that's all I really need. So, like I said, Gengar fills the void that is pretty much a pretty freaking scary mon. Um, it's quite passive, but. Um, it should do well about this game. And um, the defensive estimate is basically there to make sure to live a, um, <laughs> a knockoff from Gliscor and a potential pursuit trap from Escavaldier. Though, if I stay in against El oh, if I'm facing Escavaldier, I won't switch out. I will go for Shadow Wall and I will go for as much damage as possible because Gengar is gonna fall this game. It's all a question of when, and when it does, I hope it's done more job than it's done in this previous game. Next one up is Drapion, and I couldn't fix this picture, so deal with it. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, Drapion, pretty simple, yet so superb. Uh, its speed tier is really good in this battle, and if it, it is enough speed investment to outspeed our Adamant Entei, and uh, it has enough um, HP investment to make sure that, of course, with three substitutes, I'll activate my Salak Berry. I hope. I can force switch something, I really do. Um, because Drapion has that kind of essence in it that it can force switch, that when it does, it uh, hopefully can go for um, sorry, uh, a substitute to capitalize on that. And also, of course, we have Sword Stats in case opportunity comes, if it has a lot of slower mods. But basically, Drapion can do a lot of damage. Combination of Poison and Dark is just hopefully going to wreak havoc against my opponent. It basically is an alternative sweeper for me, and um, I'm pretty sure we'll do well because I don't feel that Freedomion has uh, the mods that is capable of fending this off properly. The armor mods can hurt it, but it's not sure they can hurt it more than it can hurt them. And with the substitute against potentially Entei, we're actually in a good position of hurting it 
really badly and knocking off whatever item it has will be crucial for this game, if anything. And the next one will probably not be too surprising, Mega Denji, freaking please! This mon is just my primary sweeper and pretty much it hurts so many things so much, so I really hope we can make this thing come alive. Now the issue is, like I said, Mega Lopony will have speed, that's a thing, and we are forcing it to be jolly. Um, but outside of that, we are fast enough to outspeed a non scarpiolis if we decide to do that. We are gonna speed up with Latios, and we have enough <laughs> HP investment to actually live a high jump kick without being Oko from it from the start off. Ahem. <laughs> Moonblast is basically there for neutral damage. Diamond Storm Oko's Entei if um, it isn't um, in some kind of. Um, sorry. Uh, defense investment. Even if it has 4 HP investment, it won't help him. It really does a lot of damage. Diamond Storm also does a lot of damage as Cavalier if he decides to bring it. It actually is a theoretical 2 hit KO depending on the set, but basically we can hurt everything right hard. Hidden Power Ice is for Gliscor. It's for Valplume too, but I don't care about Valplume that much. But Gliscor, yes, definitely. Um, we are timid basically to secure that we can. Um, or sorry, <laughs> originally we had the idea of being timid, but we need the extra attack boost, of course, of Diamond Storm, so we are naive this time, and um, that pretty much makes sure that we do it kill um, a potentially physical ball kill Sylvia until we decide to use it. So basically, the MC is really, 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 really good, and I need to keep that thing alive somehow, and I'll figure that out once we hit that battle off, but... Yeah, Dianchi is not gonna be swore like a fly, fly this time. I can't risk that because then I'll probably lose. Next mon is actually a mon I was debating whether or not I should have brought, which is of course Landris. Landris with Yashaberry yet again. Hope that the rolls my favor this time. Uh, Yashaberry makes sure that Ice Punch does not kill us and Ice Beam does not kill us. We are pretty much potent throughout this match. We have enough attack investment to Oko Entei, and we have speed investment to actually have speed Entei. If it is adamant, which is likely since it will most likely have extreme speed. Outside of that, it just fills kind of a position of intimidate the things that need to be intimidated. If I can intimidate this poor bastard that is, of course, Lupani, then you know we are in a good position. Lupani is a threat, and if we can potentially force it down, then we are in a good position. Landers is not the best mod in this game, it's going to struggle and most likely fall. But we have access to Stealth Rock for a reason, and that is hopefully to whittle down the mods that's gonna come in. And we are at least fast enough for his heavy hitters to actually be able to take them out, or at least hurt them badly. So Landers feels that part. 145 base is nothing to laugh at, even though he is not the bulkiest mod in this game, and nor should he be considered as such. But I'm, I'm glad with this decision, it was between him and Thunderous, and I think Landris is a superior choice, and um, I really hope I don't forget that. So that's why we have Landris, and that's knockoff, which is great against free jump, if anything. Next one up, Volcarona. What? Volcarona, you crazy son of a... Yes. I know. Deal with it. No, in all honesty, Volcarona is much like a Kin's uh, St. Louis Shoutout or Baby Eye. It has the potential to sweep my opponent. Outside of Entei, which obviously is hard walling this, I feel confident using Volcarona. We have Lumber in case you want to Toxic me or Thunder Wave me, depending on what happens. Um, enough speed investment to actually outspeed Mega Loop Bunny after one Quiver Dance. Obviously, we have a lot of HP. And that is to pretty much be lit a little bit thicker this time. Um, Fire Blast and Bug Bus are perfect neutral coverage outside of Entei. Giga Rain is reliable against Vaporeon. After one Quiver, we'll will Oko it uh, with Giga Drain, which is important. It's obviously we need something to hurt, but well. And after one Quiver Dance, Lorios has nothing to say to my Volcarona. Um, so. Honestly, we need to obviously set up, which is gonna be an issue. We're going to set up against Sylveon if he decides to use that, which feels very likely. And Sylveon can't do jack shit against us. Then again, you know, he could have Hidden Power Rock, and if so, then so be it. But outside of that, Volcron is gonna be a beast that needs recognition, and uh, well, that's why it's here. So, the last mount would seem likely that with the Volcarona that I needed a defogger, but. No. The last mount is Shaman. And for one very good reason. Are you... 
said in week 4 that Gallade was a tremendously dangerous mon for me to deal with, so Shaman was filling that void of a mon that could neutralize or at least fend off um, Gallade. So, like a, like a good check. Shaman fills that same void against Vol... Or, sorry, Vol... I was gonna say Volcarona. I mean, of course, Lopane. I have been talking about Lopane a lot now. Lopane obviously being able to outspeed my whole team is going to be a big deal. It really is. Um, we have enough uh, HP investment and defensive investment to make sure that High Jump Kick is not killing us. Um, it's actually a 3 kill with this investment. And, of course, a small bit of special attack, but I want to focus on, actually, the special defense. Um, the special defense makes sure that uh, Hillisk can't, uh, if it's a specs, can't um, two it KOs from uh, Hyper Voice and Weaker Retiali with Earth Power. Earth Power is also there for Entei. Entei is an issue also, but luckily we should be able to fend that off. And we have Healing Wish primarily to actually support Volcarona, but it works for the NG2. There are two mods that are brittle and could be whittled down throughout this game, and I felt that that was an issue uh, when I used Lopin last time. That's why I have Healing Wish on Shaman this time. And we have Synthesis to make sure that we can recover up. And if he brings something that is Sun Supportive, we can actually utilize that and actually use that in our favor and we get fully healed. But uh, I'm not betting on that. Uh, but basically, Seed Flare and Earth Power does a lot of the things to the team. Besides off the Lodios, which I will have to be watched out for. But outside of that, I really believe this set should do well. And that's why he's in this team. So, alright, that's the team. And I hope this is a winning team. I do struggle a bit against Freedomion. I mean, I have a good matchup to some extent. But I feel that he has the same kind of edge against me. Which means that I hope I bring the the, the, the right mods this game. <laughs> I really hope so. Um, Volcarona, like I said, it was probably one of the tougher choices I had to make. But Volcarona, in its entirety, does a lot of damage to my opponent outside of Entei. And actually, Fire Blast from plus one, Volcarona actually does around 50% against its Entei. I have to watch out for whether the set is Bandit or Assault Vest. Assault Vest seems likely, and we're gonna see that throughout this game, most likely. I have to keep tabs on damage calc, basically, because I need to find out what his Entei is. And hopefully we can knock out whatever item it is. Um, I'm not neglecting the other mods, but they are not as threatening. A low opponent is an issue, yes. I'm not gonna deny that, but not that big. And <laughs> if I had to make a good suggestion what it's gonna bring, I'll say Lario's Gliscor, Escavolger, Entei, Sylveon, and Mega Lopani. But he might as well bring Yuxi too. Uh, I don't see Valplume, I don't see Helios, and I don't see Vaporeon. Uh, Vaporeon is just beaten to hell by Thunderous. So, that was the main reason I decided not to bring Thunderous itself. I really feel that my presence in the team I'm having is pretty much forcing him not to use that Mon. I could be wrong, but like I said, I, I don't see it. And if it does, then that's set up harder for my Mons. So, that's a thing. I mean, Yuxi, I could see that. Um, so, I definitely need to taunt that and then retaliate with a Shadow Ball with my... Um, with my Gengar. It's very likely I'll lead with uh, my Diane to this game. And I'm gonna go for Protect, by the way. I'm just saying. And um, I have enough defensive investment to live a potential Earthquake from Gliscor uh, from Mega Evolving. So that's a risk I could take. I'm not saying I'm gonna do it, but that's something to keep in mind, depending on what it leads with. But basically, I need to keep the rocks out of the game because Volcron is gonna function properly. Um, Volcarona don't, it can potentially survive well, even with the 50% hit on the switch in, but it's not something I'm going to like enjoy, or uh, I mean, if I can't avoid it, then uh, I will. But yeah, that's pretty much the size of it. I'm gonna try to overpower Predominion. I mean, that's really my only best bet here. I can't stall him out. I don't have the stamina to stall him out. Yes, I'm, I'm not gonna play that game. I'm pretty sure he'll try to do that, um, but with this team, he's gonna fail if he decides to do so. Because um, I'm gonna keep the pressure up and hopefully more mods on his side is gonna fall down on my side but Like I said on this session, I know both Shaman, Landers and Gengar is gonna fall this game I'm for sure that they are Hopefully the last one standing is the NGA Volcarona They are a core that could save each other and I hope that works out throughout the game But I've been wrong before, but I really need a win this time I deserve a win this time 
I do not answer well to hacks right now. I really don't have the time to play around. I really need to get this win. And uh, hopefully we will. We have the game on Wednesday, I believe. But you guys are seeing this on Thursday. Which obviously means that the game is up tomorrow, Friday. Don't forget also to check out the Domino channel, which obviously will be linked down below. He is a tremendous battler, and uh, I really, really hope we have a good time. And I hope I come out on top. And even if I don't, I mean, like I said, I need to win this. I need to win this game. But at the same time, like if I lose, then so be it. I had a good run anyway. And uh, yeah, damn. Like I said, I really need to win. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, of course. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, guys, take care. Bye.